Hello, and welcome back to Speed Dating for Ghosts. Last time we went on a date with Andy the Party Demon. Although most of that was uh, us trying to keep Andy from fading from existence for not partying hard enough. But it worked out in the end. Uh, having said all that, there is one more date for us left in hell. So let's let's go do that, shall we? You return to the shores of hell. Speed dating is all done. But some of the ghosts are still here. Time to visit a certain vampire ghost. After speed dating finishes, you search for Agatha. You look everywhere inside the resort. Not inside the resort. When you finally find Agatha, she is floating in the air off the beach overlooking Brimstone Bay. Looking out over the water, she is a shadow, even in the dark. I thought you'd choose another. There is a dog, after all. People seem to enjoy dogs. There's something about you. Is it my sunny disposition? The color of my eyes? Perhaps I remind you of your mother. Your winning smile, actually. I have had significant dental work. What should we do on our date? I suppose you are wondering about this stake in my heart. Perhaps you think if you earn my trust, you can be the one to finally remove it. I was going to ask. This stake is my burden, but it is a burden I choose. I can take it out whenever I want. Observe. It is not that I need the stake. It is simply a part of me. My current state is because of this stake. I was born with it. I am not whole without it. Did you hear that though? Hear what? Time sped up when you removed it. Did it? I'll have to take your word for it. What does it feel like? It doesn't. The blood red waters of Brimstone Bay lap up the black sands of the shore. It's difficult to see beneath the water. This is the edge of hell. There could be anything below the surface. Let's go swimming. Agatha leads you by the hand out over the water. She turns to you, then dips beneath the waves. As you move through the water, you feel the water move through you. Beneath the surface, everything is thick and crimson. It's impossible to see more than a couple of feet in front of you. You feel what you hope are fish brushing, brushing past. Schools of them. At least you hope they're fish. Everything feels slower too. A little like when you're with Agatha. You can't see her. For all you know, she brushed past like the fish. Until, through the murk, you see her. You're face to face with a vampire ghost, bathed in blood. When you cannot breathe, lonely ghost, do you ever truly stop swimming? You're first to return to the shores of Brimstone Bay. After a few quiet moments, Agatha emerges from the red water. 
Something's different. She looks calm, almost content. Like a weight has been lifted off her. Mistake. Oh God, I don't know what to do. I need my steak. The noise, that horrible noise. Ah! Frantic, Agatha disappears back into Brimstone Bay. The steak in her heart must have fallen out when she was underwater. You decide to dive into the water to help Agatha look for her steak. But wait, before you leap in, what's that on the shore? By some hellish miracle, her steak washes up on the beach. You pick it up. The steak has been with her for so long, but only seems to cause her pain. You call out to Agatha. There is no response. You dive into the bay. You try in vain to spot her beneath the crimson waves. You see nothing. And your calls for Agatha are muffled by the water, as thick as blood. When you finally emerge once more from the bay, Agatha's stake is in your hand. And it's suddenly so quiet, as if time is standing still. You wait there for a while longer. She doesn't come back. Well then, that was... a little grim. Agatha, Spirit of Loss, Years Alive, 1689 to 1996, Cause of Death, Stake Through the Heart. Agatha died twice. The first time was at 22. She was bitten by her husband, a man who claimed to love her. I want you to be like this forever, he said, but he grew tired of her and moved on to another. Agatha moved on too, reinventing herself with each subsequent generation. Few learned her secret, and she was careful to never directly take a life, only drinking blood from blood banks, hospitals, and, when desperate, butchers. In 1996, Agatha's terrified girlfriend learned what she was and plunged a stake into her heart while she slept. Now Agatha is the ghost of a vampire. It's pretty weird. Well, that seems to be all the date options in hell, but... There's still a blank gravestone here. Maybe we'll learn what that's about next time. <laughs>